As we celebrate Malaysia Day, it is important for us to remember that this is not just any public holiday. On this day, we mark the birth of our nation 57 years ago, which saw the people from the peninsula as well as Sabah and Sarawak coming together to form the country. According to newly crowned Miss Universe Malaysia 2020, Francisca Luhong James, this special bond is something that we need to cherish as it unites us as Malaysians. The 25-year-old public relations and marketing executive turned beauty queen said Malaysia Day is not just about celebrating a historic occasion but also strengthening the ties that bind the east and west parts of the nation. The Sarawakian, who was born in Cebu and raised in Kuching, also said she considers the September 16th celebration as more relevant and significant in commemorating our nationhood. We are of different race, different ethnicity, but we can live together as one. And if you come to you know, the east side, like Sabah, Sarawak, you will see all the ethnicity and the Chinese, Indian, Malay, they all can come together, you know, celebrate Raya, you know, Chinese New Year, Dimpavali, you know, Kaamatan, Gawai together. So it's something that we should be proud of as Malaysian. Francesca added, while Malaysia Day was previously celebrated in a big way, including in her home state with huge fireworks display, this time it was different and more subdued due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Nevertheless, for her, this year's theme, Malaysia Prihatin, truly reflects the values and virtues of Malaysians who would care for one another and work hand-in-hand -hand to bring positive change and relief during such dire times. Oh, we're very responsible of each other, you know, we take care of each other, everyone is raising funds, everyone is trying to do what they can to help one another. You see everyone is raising awareness, trying to flatten the curve together and uh, unite as one. So that shows how amazing Malaysia is and we actually curbed this problem in just few months while other countries, other big countries, you know, mm. have it much more worse. Mm. Apart from remembering the struggles of our forefathers in fighting for our independence, she also urged Malaysians to show gratitude for the sacrifices of our unsung heroes, especially the frontliners, including by simply embracing the new norms and following the SOP set by authorities. We should appreciate them more, you know, after going through this, you know, usually we take them for granted. And after going through this COVID-19, only people realize how important their roles are. We still need to follow the, the rules, you know, like how we need to stay at home, you know, jaga jara, and just uh, be aware and be mindful of where you go. So it's enough, enough is enough. <laughs> so everyone should work together and, you know, just try to flatten the curve, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Your new Miss Universe Malaysia 2020 is Francisca Luong! Francisca is the first Dayak woman to win the crown, but she didn't get to be with her family and supporters when she won the title during the first ever live-streamed Miss Universe Malaysia e-gala night on September 5th due to the outbreak and recovery movement control order. As the new Miss Universe Malaysia 2020. Uh, at least uh, we get to celebrate it together virtually and still uh, stay safe. So kudos to the Miss Universe Malaysia organization team. They did a good job because everyone still enjoyed the show, you know, together and everyone still stays safe at home. Apart from preparing to represent Malaysia at the 69th Miss Universe International Pageant, which is likely to be held in the first quarter of 2021, the Kayan Kanyah Iban Lass will also focus on her advocacy on women empowerment, called Women Rise, during her reign. The part-time model is also thankful that she gets to represent Malaysia's ethnic minorities on the global stage and aims to showcase the unique side of the country that people haven't seen yet. It's called Paji Pajo Maju. That is um, in my ethnic, um, how to say, language. It means to move forward and never back out. So if you have something to achieve in life, go for it and never back out and always believe in yourself. And also, uh, especially for Malaysia Day, continue to, you know, um, be proud of who you are as a Malaysian because 
We are a multicultural country. We have so much to offer to the world. Congratulations. Once again, thank you so much, everyone.